Yeah. Okay, we're here at Wilton um, in southwest Sydney, west of the Illawarra, uh, at this pretty spectacular shelter. It's amazing, not just because of the, uh, the sandstone formation itself, but we've got some pretty intriguing Aboriginal art, which probably well, almost certainly dates from uh, before the colonial period, maybe the early years of the colonial period. The real shame, unfortunately, is that there has been masses of graffiti. Um, it's apparently quite a well-known shelter. It's been tampered with extensively. Um, there, there appears to have been some um, maintenance of the graffiti. Maintenance is not the right word. What am I talking about? remedial action against the graffiti um, but um, as with most art sites once the damage is done it's done having said that still some very um, intriguing authentic uh, imagery here uh, kangaroos are pretty stock standard um, motif but um, they're quite the, sh the lines are quite curvy, which suggests they're probably um, a lot more uh, recent than a lot of other art. Um, but as you see, some very strange indeed shapes here. Uh, you know, it's really open to interpretation whether that is a man with a bizarre headdress or whether it's a uh, non-human form. Uh, but this fella, especially on his side, that's very similar to a figure um, in the larger Warrenora catchment area. Um, I haven't actually been to that one. I've only seen photographs, but very similar. Yeah, so some very uh, intriguing imagery. It's just a shame it's been um, so tampered with. Disgusting, really. One more thing over here. This motif. This is quite interesting. This is very similar to some cl white clay um, shapes that I saw um, down at Coles, the Coles Creek in the McDonald State Forest, uh, west of Lake Conjola. So a different uh, language group ostensibly, but um, very, very similar uh, motif there. It's been interpreted as maybe a seed pod or I'm not sure. But intriguing because most of the stuff you'll see is either human, anthropomorphic or, or clearly animals. And unfortunately, the um, there's just a lot of water here as well. I can see there's cracks in the sandstone shelter. That's going to eventually place the yard in even more danger from destruction on top of the vandalism. But it's uh, good to finally see this. I had the coordinates for this ages ago and I'd seen a photograph of it, but uh, I had never put the two together. I didn't realise that this is what we were going to see today. So, big thanks to Phil Gleason, who's doing the filming, for guiding us here as per usual. No worries.